I suppose I'm supposed to tell you guys what happened right now. And for a while there, I, I don't even know what happened. So um, obviously got off to a tough start. I, exactly what I was afraid of. You know, I think American's a very, very good defensive team. Megan's an outstanding coach. And, and they made us they made us work for our points early. Nothing came easy. And I thought we kind of played into that a little bit. I thought, especially when we kind of got down a little bit and we were struggling to score, everybody for whatever reason, felt a little bit confident. I'll use that word. Uh, felt a little bit confident. Everybody kind of tried to be a hero a little bit. And just I thought a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball. I, I thought we really kind of rushed a few shots, didn't really make them play defense. About halfway through that second quarter, I thought that changed. You know, it wasn't necessarily that we were drawing up things to take advantage of anything they were doing. It was a lot of just move the basketball, trust the offense, and we'll get some good looks. And I thought that happened. I thought we had a couple hustle plays there. I think Sune's rebound basket to start the or to, to end the first quarter was huge. Um, you know, we were still down a little bit halfway. I think the timeout we took, maybe the six-minute mark of the second quarter, we were still struggling. And, and we told our girls, we said, everybody's looking for this 10-point shot out there. We're trying to get it all back. Just – We'll get stops eventually, hopefully, <laughs> eventually happen. Um, we'll get stops, and, and, and we did. You know, And I thought the, we scored, got a stop at the end of the second quarter, and then Kai's three at the end of the second quarter was huge. You know, I think it settled us down a little bit, gave us some confidence. They were still playing well, but I think maybe a little bit for them was, hey, we had a 13-point lead, it's down to two, kind of what the heck just happened. Um, so I thought you know, we just – we put some pressure on them a little bit. I think they didn't have any pressure there for a while to start the game, and I thought the pressure, we kind of put a little bit on them to, to end the second quarter and to start the third. Yeah, I mean, it did seem to work, and he, kind of the two possessions before that kind of was debating whether to take the timeout, and it sang it really close to that media timeout, and it was just, you know, maybe maybe probably should have called it a possession earlier. We had a bad possession offensively before that. Um, I think at that point it was really just to kind of settle us down a little bit. Like you said, let's not try to get it back. I know these are shots that we can make, but at some point here, we can get stuff at the basket. But the ball's got to move. They have to move defensively in order for that to happen. And I think, again, we finally settled down. And then, to be honest with you, some of the shots that maybe we shouldn't have taken did go in at the end of the second quarter. So I think a little bit of both. And I think defensively was just they were in such good rhythm. You know, they're not a great shooting team. But when they've been good, they've, they've, they've really put up some points. And, and I thought going into the game was just we got to take them out of rhythm. We tried making some adjustments in the first quarter. They took advantage of everything that we were doing. You know, that ball screen stuff really bothered us. We finally kind of got them to take some contested twos. And, again, they weren't going to make every shot. And, and I think, again, it just took them out of rhythm maybe a little bit. Yeah, and, and again, kind of going to the well there of, of things that – not that they haven't been good all year, but obviously it kind of has been starting with Deb, starting with Klotz, and these guys kind of get theirs a little bit off of, off of them. Dub's got going. I think she made the first, scored maybe the first five points. Um, it clots the, Light's a really good defender, you know. So she bothered Jackie a little bit. I thought we rushed some things uh, a little bit there, but yeah, I thought Sune made some hustle plays on both ends of the floor. Got some easy baskets. Kai, you know, kind of threatened their defense a little bit and, and made some good decisions. And, and she knocked in a few shots. So yeah, I mean, it was. It, it took a while to get there, but obviously it, it, it did finally get there. Um. Well. I knew like the shot clock was, um, I mean the time was going down, so the defender backed off, so I knew I couldn't really like try to force it to the basket, so I just pulled up for the easy three-pointer shot. Um, basically with the offense, we just moved the ball and trusted each other, and that's what worked so. um, really well. Um, we just have to continue to work on defense and move the ball on offense, trust each other, play the team, and we'll be good. Um, they're a great team defensively. Um, I think they're one of the most like, difficult teams that we've played in our conference. Um, so I just think it's all their defense. Their defense is really good. Um, yeah, I thought we made them when it counted. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't like that I missed the ones at the end, but I'm, they weren't as important, I don't think, as the ones I made earlier. So um, yeah, one of them. I just um, thought that we were down by a lot, so I needed to make some more um, effort and hustle plays and just try to go for everything I can and, and one possession at a time. <laughs> Um, I think we're, we we played really well this game. Um, uh, we we had some games where we weren't um, at, as good as we wanted to be, but um, we're still every practice our mindsets just like continue to improve, especially on defense, as Kai said. You know, I, I think like we talked about earlier, I think especially even at the half was we're not that team that's necessarily going to pressure people a whole lot, but we had to take them out of rhythm. You know, I thought Ladane was just feeling a little bit too comfortable. I thought just in their offense, Carl was starting to feel too comfortable. You know, we were kind of picking up a little bit, and, you know, that was probably the first time they'd seen that necessarily, and, and it, unless it was at an end-of-game situation. We felt like we could pressure them a little bit, and I thought we made them just 
get out of, like I said, just get out of rhythm. You know, they were bringing the ball up with 23. I mean, she probably didn't brought the ball up at all throughout the year. So that was a little bit of the game plan there. Get the, they're such a good offensive team. I think that's why they were struggling early in the year is they had a lot of new people playing new positions. Ladane, you know, Dumiak last year ran that, ran that team. It took them a while this year to kind of get comfortable in their offense. But as you look at them over the last couple of weeks, especially the last week, they've been really good offensively. And, and I just, as much as we tried to take it out of rhythm, nothing that we were doing was working. So it was just kind of, hey, it was either throwing stuff against the wall at some point. It was, we got to pick them up. Let's pressure them. Again, part of that had to do with the lead for them had kind of gone from 13 to 2. If we start the half and we pick up a little bit, let's, let's see what happens. And I think it also got our energy going. At the end of the second period, we were getting stops. But, I mean, I don't think they had turned the ball over for the first, first 15 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. And, and I think they had five in the last four minutes. So we kind of said it's not necessarily defense and offense, but we've got to get them out of their comfort zone. If it leads to some points for us, great. But they scored 35 points in the first half. Like that was on pace for them to set a record for, for the season. And um, that, that's really what it came down to is just we got to get them out of their rhythm. I know I keep saying that, but it's we said that for two days. It didn't work. Threw it against the wall at halftime, and something something finally stuck. Josh, I mean, what do you say? I think, I think being calm and being poised comes with experience. We're still a really young team. Because we're a young team, we haven't been probably the lockdown defensive team that we have been in years past. We're a better offensive team than we have before. Unfortunately, our, our defense has put us in some positions like that this year. For as much as our record has been 17-1, and one, our 17-1, and one, at, at the risk of I mean, deflating anything that we've done so far, our 17-1 and one is a little bit different than Army's 17-1 and one this year. You know, Army's blowing people out. We've had to scratch claw. It's been some overtime games. We were down 13 there. Well, oh, by the way, we were down double digits at Holy Cross. Oh, by the way, we were down 17 in the fourth quarter against Lehigh. Those are the things that we've talked about as a team and a program that build character, that build toughness. I wouldn't say none of us were panicking. I think there was a sense of urgency. We didn't panic maybe outwardly. But things had to change. You know, I think from a coaching standpoint, we had to make some adjustments from a, I wouldn't say effort. I thought we played hard. We just didn't play smart. And, and I think there was a little bit of halftime. All right, we've poised ourselves a little bit. We had, to, we had a good second or end of the second quarter. Let's go do what we do. Let's go be us. And I think we, multiple people said that at halftime. And um, thankfully for us, enough shots went in, and I thought we kind of changed the course of the game there. Uh, yeah, we've tried a lot of things this year. It's been a lot of yelling at them. It's been a lot of showing film. Um, and, and it's been just a lot of, But this is just a team that needs to be taught. Again, this is new territory for us to a certain extent. So I think there's a little bit of let's enjoy it. We finally there's been some lean moments in, in this program over the last few years. We have to enjoy this. We don't play until Friday. If we play well Friday, we're playing back to back. We haven't played back to back this year. So that's going to be new for us. We have to get our rest, you know, so I think that's a lot of what tomorrow will be. Let's get our eyes on some tape. Let's get our legs rested a little bit, maybe get some shots up, and then let's attack I, Loyola. Is that confirmed? Yeah. Did Loyola yeah. win? Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we played them a little bit ago, and, you know, we go from one really great coach in Megan to a really, really good coach in, in Joe. So we are going to have our work cut out for us as a coaching staff. We'll attack that tonight um, and a little bit tomorrow. Um, but a little bit from our standpoint, maybe not the girls, but we've got to prepare for kind of three teams over the next few days. These guys are just going to focus on Loyola, um, but I think for, for them it's enjoy it, get some rest tomorrow, and then let's attack Loyola Thursday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday, Thursday. Get on the bus, and, man, this is what we've been working for. You know, this is – I know a lot of people are disappointed that we don't get to play at home for that semi game, but I think it's a cool experience. You know, we get to go to a Final Four of the Patriot League. It's the first time we've done this. This is exciting for us. Like we said, new territory. Um, so we got to we got to enjoy this tonight. But we'll we'll get we'll get back to work and we will be ready on Friday without a doubt. Um, I I'd say there was maybe a little bit of a panic inside, but we all did a like really good job picking each other up and saying like just refocus and like focus on one possession at a time and like get a stop, move the ball, you know. And um, uh, one thing that I know like I really focused on was just like knowing when to be in help and like when you're on ball side, kind of like defensive things. So I think that was. Uh, it, we just stayed pretty calm.